Hello children, welcome to today's English online class. Yes children, in the last class we have learnt about lesson number 24 that is this, that, these, those lesson from grammar part. Right children, today let us see new lesson that is unit 9, lesson number 9, Chotu's journey. Okay children, very nice story. Who is Chotu? Let us see this. Okay. So today let us read this story children. In the next class let us see the meaning of this lesson. Okay. Very nice story. Let us read this lesson. Okay children. Lesson number 9. Chotu's journey. One day a baby elephant was born in a forest. He was really tiny. His mother Rani named him Chotu. Chotu was very small. All his brothers and sisters, uncles and aunts took good care of him. They all made sure that he was never left alone. However, one day he got lost. His family was going to the river to have a mud bath and drink water. The river was very far. They had to cross many small brooks and thick clusters of trees to reach the river. Chotu felt hungry. He stopped to eat grass and when he had eaten his fill, he looked up. He could not see anyone. He walked left. He walked right. He went round and round the grassland. But he could not see his family. Chotu started to cry. Two campers saw him. They felt sorry for Chotu. They gently guided him to their camp. Chotu followed them everywhere. He became their pet. But they could not keep Chotu with them forever. They did not want to leave him alone in the forest also. Thus began his jour long journey to the zoo. Chotu was led into a big truck. He was scared. He had never seen anything like this before. One camper sat in the back with him. After many hours on the road, the truck stopped and Chotu was happy to walk on the ground again. Next page. Page number 31. But the next morning, he was again led into a boat, a very big boat. And before he could walk out, the boat's engine started with a loud roar. Poor Chotu, he was very uncomfortable. He could only see water all around him. He was in the boat for Two days and two nights. He did not eat any 
anything. He spent most of his time sleeping. On the third morning, Choto could see land. He was happy. The boat reached land. Choto was gently led off the boat and again put on a truck. There was a lot of noise in this place. Choto did not like the noise. After a little while, the truck stopped at an animal park. Choto was happy to see grass and trees again. Choto knew that this was his new home. He knew he had travelled far from his family. He had a very nice keeper at the park. Choto is no longer Choto now. Many children come to visit him. He is busy from morning to night entertaining them. Okay, children. So, this is about Choto's journey story. So, read this lesson, children, once or twice. In the next class, let us see the meaning of this story. Okay, that is lesson, lesson number nine. Okay, children, have a good day. Take care.